Oh lovelies, I'm kind of coming at you uh, vlog style from the back garden. Um, I wanted to record this before going out today but I didn't actually get a chance so I am doing it now and I just wanted to come out here because it's a super nice day and I'm just kind of literally hanging out, <laughs> hanging from a tree. Um, also because it's a nice day everyone's windows are open so I'm pretty sure if any of my neighbours can hear me they're wondering why I'm hanging in the tree in my back garden talking to myself but <laughs> I'm talking to you guys. But yeah I wanted to try to do a sort of little outfit of the day video slash like how I put together outfits because people have asked for something like that before. Uh, this is my first go at doing that so it might be kind of crap <laughs> but uh, hopefully I can improve as time goes on and do more of these videos now that we're getting some better weather and I'm actually leaving the house uh, but this is what I put together. So my starting piece for today's outfit is actually this little sort of wrappy shrug thing. Uh, I found this while I was clearing out the closet. I'm like I've got a big closet organization project going on right now. It is taking some time but I found this and I was like oh yeah and like the nice weather's coming in and I was like, oh my god, that would just be perfect for the nice weather because for one, it kind of covers you up a little bit so the sun isn't right on you, which I prefer. It covers up the part of my arms that I hit, which is always good so I can have my arms covered without having to wear like a long sleeved something. Uh, it ties in the front, which is really cute, and then just it also sort of like goes over your boobs, which is good if anything I'm wearing is quite thin because then it just makes me feel a little less on display. Which is good because then to go with this I have chosen this dress which is from my most recent Killstar haul. And uh, I said in that video I think that I thought this would just be perfect for summer because you've got the lace, it's really light and flowy. It has the nice lace detail on the bottom as well. And uh, yeah just overall I thought that this would be a great sort of like nice weather dress. So we're going to go with that. Okay so that is those together. So now we need to pick out some accessories. So for necklaces, I know that I definitely want to wear this sort of rosary style necklace I have. Uh, I got this on eBay, but it used to have like a little crucifix on it, but I didn't like that, so I replaced it with the big fancy cross. And then because like this is very, very long, I'm thinking I might layer it with another necklace. I was thinking like maybe this little sort of mirror type one from Spooky Box Club, but I don't know. I was also thinking maybe the big spider, but I don't know. It doesn't feel like a green outfit to me. Like I have idea, even if there's no color in an outfit, I have ideas of like the color that goes with it if you get me. And I'm not feeling the green with it, but it is actually one of my favorite necklaces. And again, I like the bat, but I'm not feeling it like very red. And I could do like this choker with it, but like to me, <laughs> I'm so fussy. For me, like this gives off like a more sort of like dressed up regal look and I'm going for something like more sort of daytime casual. But for earrings, I think I want to go with these. They're probably my favorite. I got these from Alchemy Gothic. I think I bought these as a Christmas present to myself. And uh, yeah, I just, I love these with the little skulls and stuff. Ooh, which actually, this one. So this is like a little skull necklace that I got from one of my spooky boxes along with the bone here. And I think that would tie in really nicely with the little skulls on the earrings. Just traveling through the house to all my jewelry hangers to try to find the right necklace, but I think this is it. There we are, so that's those together. And I just, I think the sort of black and silver is really tying this together because you've got the silver on the little eyelets up here and obviously the silver of the jewelry, the earrings are silver as well. And now I will go find a bag to go with this, I think. Okay, so for the bag I've chosen this. Uh, this is a restyle bag and I love this so much. It doesn't feel that big but you can actually fit a ton in there because it's just like, it's so flexible. It's just like a sack. The only thing is I've had this bag for quite a while and I use it a lot and the silver is actually kind of coming off uh, this little zipper pull which is unfortunate so it's looking a little bit copper which is annoying but Ah, well. And I put this little bat pin on there, which is an alchemy gothic one. I just thought that looks really cute on there. It's just like a subtle little bit of detail. 
And again, just this bag, because it is like the kind of set, just feels really sort of like casual and stuff to me. It's easy to carry around, so it's not annoying me all day. So I think that goes well, because you don't want to be all hot and bothered on a really warm day. And then I was thinking of doing a hat with this look, but then last night I was actually watching uh, Fairy Tale, A True Story, and Frances has like a ribbon tied um, in part of her hair through the movie, and I thought it'd be really cute to do something like that. But with this instead, this is literally just a strip that I cut off of some uh, like spiderweb fabric. And I thought it'd be cute to do like the same sort of like ribbony thing, but with this instead. So I'm going to do my hair like that instead of a hat, I think. So now all I have to do is find a cute pair of tights, because for me, with like outfits like this, tights are a super important part. And then I will probably just wear my usual little uh, Demonia Dynamite Mary Janes, because I'm going to be walking a lot, and those are like my go-to comfy shoes. So I will just show you that stuff when it's on. So starting from the very top we have my hair. I ended up doing two bows instead of one because whenever I tried to do the one like the girl in the movie it just, I didn't like the silhouette it made, maybe it's just my head. And uh, these are the earrings. They weren't super visible because of my hair but I still thought it was nice that they would peek out especially like if the wind blew my hair back or anything so I still think they were cute for this outfit and I feel like they do match the little skull necklace really well so I just like that they tie in like that. And I just, I really love the beading style of like rosary type necklaces. Next up is the shrug. I forgot to mention I got this on eBay. If I can find a link to the same one, I'll pop it down below along with anything else I can find. And uh, I just love this. It's so comfortable and I really like the texture that it adds to outfits. It almost looks kind of webby to me in a way. And uh, I feel like it really does help break up the dress since it's just one sort of piece and I just love the little knot in the front although it made my necklace sit kind of off center which was annoying. <laughs> Moving down to the bottom of the dress I think the lace detailing at the bottom just is super cute and of course then ties in with the lace at the top and this was super comfortable all day so it was a good choice. And below that you can see the tights I chose. They are just fishnets but at the top, at the front and back, they do have this pretty lace. The only thing is it's very hard to keep those centered which is irritating. Uh, but still I thought these were really really cute for the outfit. And then these are my little demonias. I think I got these ones from MII Clubwear. I will put a link if I can find them. And uh, these are so comfy, so easy to walk in, just my absolute favorite. And that is the entire outfit. It was a nice warm day, so I didn't bring a jacket out with me, which is rare in Northern Ireland, uh, but I was very pleased with this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, hopefully it's not too boring. I don't know if it was helpful or not. Like, feel free to give me pointers for this style of video because it is my first time trying and I didn't really know what I was doing, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Remember to check out my Patreon before you go because it helps this channel a whole ton. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And remember to leave a little comment and tell me what you thought. And I will see you next video. <laughs> Bye, lovelies!